If you're like me, I've got a 10 foot long by 5 foot wide railway. I sit in the middle or stand in the middle to be honest with no room for a chair. And I've got lots of points to do. Now a lot of my points are reasonably close to my edge. Um, a lot of points need the electric point motors. I'm thinking some I can fit and some I can't. Under this section here I've got some 2v2 batten right underneath where the uh, points are going so uh, couldn't do that. So what I'm going to show you now is how I managed to put three manually operated points all fixed up all within about 15 minutes with the minimum of kit. Now one thing that I did use which is very um, important is these plastic tubes. These come from lots of devices my wife uses. Um, the ones I've used on what I'm going to show you came from her um, perfume bottles. Um, if you want to use your wife's perfume bottles before they're empty, then you, diver, you, you spell divorce by O-U-C-H. And now let's show you how I did it. I decided a while ago that I would, uh, instead of having just this normal road coming in for this platform, um, I would uh, construct uh, a loop so that my engine can go back, change the points, traverse all the way forwards to this setup here, come all the way back pick up and then the small local train can now go back to the main station ready to come out again. Uh, no problem at all. Uh, I haven't got enough room to control the points with an electric motor because I can't get under the baseboard so I use the Pico top sets. So what I've decided to do, I'm going to do everything manually by wire and I'll just show you how I do it. Okay, we're going to do this point first. First of all, normally, or when I'm finished, I will have um, a barrier along here. It's a bit of thin, I don't know, plastic anyway. Uh, so that's going to go along there. We'll full form a wall, and the inside the wall, there would be, obviously, it'll look like a wall. Paper or card or, or whatever. So that's going to happen. Now, this might look a bit brutal. But what I've got to do, I'm going to get a wire in there, uh, but I'm already set down, so I don't want to rip everything up and change the configuration. Now, with my um, sturdy Maplin pliers, I now remove my track pins for a reasonable distance because I've got to do something horrible to the track. Uh, so where's the next one? It's up here somewhere. So you can come up and you can come up as well. Now this should, I hope, now let me to have flexibility to a degree. What else is holding it back? Something is holding it back here. I think it's the wires in there. So that's too much of a problem. I just have to tweak the wires that are coming up from the point. Now the next bit I have, this is half millimeter uh, piano wire, just a, a short length because it's going to come out here. Now I'm going to bend the end of the piano wire with my trusty Maplin's pliers. Bring back Maplin's please. I don't know why they went but never mind they did so next stage in the operation I have to get this to go in there and up through the little hole now this is slightly tricky but it can be done So 
So now we fitted the little hook in. So that's nice. We now have to try and disguise it. So these little bits of plastic, they come off of the inside of spray tubes for whatever cleaning stuff my wife uses. When she uh, finishes them off and discards them, then I take the plastic tubes out from inside. <coughs> and uh, very handy for things like this. Now bearing in mind when this is finished properly, this side won't be finished for months and months and months yet. Um, my board will be there just like that and this is my handle so it's just a normal terminal block and I'm going to move it up a little bit now because um, I'm not completely finished with it so just do you need a very small terminal block otherwise the wire will just disappear inside so now you have a very easy nice operation obviously I'll trim that off when I get round to it in the final stages. I shall also remove my little uh, pips here, either side of the um, point control. This tube will be stuck down with super glue um, because it um, doesn't have to be moved. And of course, as far as covering it up, oh, what can you do here with grass and everything else? I mean, of bits and pieces. It's endless, no problem at all. One of my saving graces is that all of my track is on uh, thin pieces of foam. It's actually um, a two, two millimeter thick foam uh, that I bought some time ago and uh, everything has got foam underneath it. Uh, this just raises the whole track up two mil. So when I do my uh, ballasting, I've got a better shoulder um, without using too much uh, gravel. So that is my way of doing my points for manual operation uh, down on the little siding. Just a few more little tips. I use this device <coughs> excuse me, to um, keep the track apart. came from America but it's very very good. So I've got the right spacing there. Of course my area of correct spacing is about eight inches, but so uh, that's what I use on all the rest of my track. And if you're going to put track pins in, now a ball, small ball pain hammer like this, I possibly had this about 50 years, but it works. And basically, obviously you just get your, your small track pin in place. And it doesn't interfere, it doesn't touch the rails. It's just so nice and easy. And of course the rest of them, are um, the holes are there already, so it's gone in quite easily. But even on fresh stuff, ballpain hammer, it really, really is good. So I've done three now. So this is um, one at the far end, stuck down the... A plastic strip with super glue and that works well so the engine can now trundle around and then we get to number two which is this one here and again so easy just so good now this is one I did earlier blue Peter style now this is over the hump so there's the point there that I need to control and the only way I thought I could do it and it did work I pushed through a piece of one millimeter uh, piano wire through through there pushed it through because that's polystyrene and uh, uh, mod rock uh, luckily it went through so then all I had to do was connect this end and um, smashing all works and that is going to make one hell of a difference to my little siding here by the platform.